doing it live. We're doing it live. Do you know how hot it is in here? I had to turn off all my fans so that my audio wouldn't get all messed up. The good news is I'm not wearing pants, so. I'm the most awkward winker. I can't wink, I'm always like. Oh, I can feel the lip sweats happening already. <gasps> no. No. Everything's falling apart. Yeah, I forgot to hit record. My microphone stopped working. Today's just not my day. So enjoy that really crappy audio that you're gonna get in that first little bit. <laughs> okay, what did we make this week? What I made this week is relatively normal. It's not really, there's no tomfoolery, there's no shiganery. It's uh, just made my underwear, <laughs> literally. I made underwear this week. A little bit scandalous. A little while ago, I watched a YouTube tutorial by Annika Victoria. I'll link her in the description. She's the tits. She knows what she's doing. I learned from her. But yeah, I watched a tutorial about how to make your own underwear and I was like, this is actually crazy easy. What the hell? Oh my God, I'm so sweaty. My mask is sweating off. But is sticking to the seat. I did try making my own underwear back in the winter, um, but the pair I used to base the pattern off of was just like very ill fitting. I, I thought they were like, I was like, oh, this is a nice fitting pair, but then I actually tried them on after and I was like, no, it's not. Why didn't I try them on first? Anywho, so yeah, I have made a few pairs before, but I'm gonna be making a brand new pattern with a pair of underwear that actually fit well. And don't just ride up my cheeks all day. Leave, Julie, get out. Get out. Fuck all this. This content fucking sucks. Here's my ass. Cause I know I've been living in rain. So these are the pairs I made last time. Um, I just, I mean, you've seen this fabric a lot. Uh, yeah, it's sweet because you can just use kind of scrap fabric, really, if you want to make a lot of them. This is my watermelon pair. I don't even know what size what. And like, these are cute. I want to wear them, but it's either they like hang so low on my butt that uh, it's not even, <laughs> doesn't even work at that point. Or it's just very, very uncomfortable between my cheeks. Um, you know, I think it's about all I really need to say about it. Do I make this face too much? I'm gonna make some thunderwear. Underwear that's fun. <laughs> I chose this pair of underwear to use for my pattern because I like the fit. Last time I made underwear, I chose a pair I thought fit well, but really just rode the hell up my ass. This dance is my response to anyone that's gonna flip a shitty about me being in my underwear on camera. I started by folding the underwear in half. The lace trim I want to use on the pair I make is roughly an inch wide, so I'm folding down the top of the underwear so that the pair I make will come to a similar rise on my hips. Then I traced it. The way I make this pattern will be a little bit different than usual. After tracing the one side, I folded the paper in half along where the center of the underwear will be. I only added a seam allowance to the side this time because for the waist and legs I will be adding lace trim, like the original pair, and when I traced the originals I didn't completely fold over the lace trim before tracing. Therefore, by doing so, I already have a seam allowance. Does anything I say make sense? Keep the paper folded in half and cut along the trace line so that when you unfold it, you will have a symmetrical template. I'm double checking that the size makes sense with the original pair and it does overall. Now I'm gonna be doing the same with the butt. Butt play. When I unfolded both pieces, I realized that I had made a mistake. This is the moment I realize it. I should have traced everything at once by starting at the butt and rolling the underwear forward as you'll see me do in a minute. I didn't do this at the beginning because I didn't have a big enough piece of paper, but as always, I can fix it. 
I taped a piece of paper in between the back and front after lining up the back, rolled the underwear forward, and traced out the crotch piece. After cutting it out, I did some maneuvering to make sure everything fit properly. I also double checked with a pattern I had from the previous pair of underoos I made just to see that I wasn't crazy out of whack. Wackadoo, wackadoody. Then as always, I labeled it. Next, I made a pattern piece for the gusset of the Thunderwear. What's a gusset, you say? How dare you not know this really obscure word for something that you probably have never thought about. It's a little piece of extra fabric along the front bum of your underwear. You don't have to add that part in, it's not super necessary, but I'm going to because I like to uh, piss my pants a little bit throughout the day. To make it, I used the underwear to find where the gusset should fall on the pattern and traced it. The material I'm going to be using is a satiny floral print. I thought it was more of a round material, but I was wrong. The gray side is actually the wrong side of the fabric, but I quite like it, so I'm going to be making the panties from it instead of the proper side, which is black floral. I also discovered that this material, because it is satin, has little to no give, so I may end up regretting my decision to use it. But it's pretty. I'm going to be using pinking shears this time for cutting, so after pinning the pattern to the fabric, I traced it using chalk so that the pattern wouldn't get in the way when I went to cut. I also decided midway through pinning that I actually wanted to use the black side of the fabric because I think it'll be a classier look. And I might have a little something something plan for the next video that is going to be paired with the underoos, and I just want it to be the classiest bitch around when it's all said and done. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hated, hated cutting this shit out. The pinking shears don't have a sharp enough edge to really slice through the flimsy satin. I ended up getting in there real deep and using my foot to create tension to help me get through cutting this mofo. Also, the reason I'm using pinking shears instead of my beloved rotary cutter is because satin will fray like a shithead and pinking shears will help prevent that. I used the same process to cut out a little gusset piece after I was done with the main beast. When everything is cut out, fold your pieces up so that it looks like underwear, right sides together, pin the sides, and sew it up. Everyone should be so proud of me right now. Before sewing anything, I tried the pinned underwear on to see how it was fitting, and just as I suspected, the stupid lack of stretch with the satin made them incredibly tight. So, I'm going to try a little trick that I used on a pair of shorty shorts I made last year that I had the same problem with. I'm going to cut out two little pieces of stretchy round fabric and add them in at the sides so that I can do things like um, breathe while wearing these underoos. I measured the side of the underwear for a length and guesstimated about how much of a width I wanted. It came to 3 by 2 inch squares. I measured that out on the stretchy fabric and cut it out. Then I pinned it in between the sides of the underwear and sewed it together. I will be using a zigzag stitch, medium width and length for sewing this up. And what do you know, when I put them on, they actually fit. What a rarity. The stretchy fabric did the job. The waist feels the smallest bit loose, but not to the point where I feel like taking the sides in anymore. Next step is adding on the lace trim. I measured the waist and it came to 34.25 inches. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the collar in the last video and take away an inch. I'm hoping this will help make the waist a little tighter. I'm using black elasticized lace and measuring out 33.25 inches. Pin the lace all around the waist. I tugged the lace a bit while I was pinning it to make sure I had that added tension and when I got to the end it was a few inches less than 33.25 inches. How does measuring work? This is one reason why I sewed together the ends of the lace after making sure the waist fit nicely. I just don't trust myself when numbers are involved. Once I attach that by again using a zigzag stitch, I wanted to top stitch it. I took the seam of the fabric and lace and made sure it was folded down. The point of top stitching this is to give it a cleaner look and make sure that the lace stays prominent and the seam doesn't pop up where it's not invited. I could have pinned the seam down before sewing it, but it's not overly difficult to hold it down while sewing. For the top stitch, I got very close to the top of the underwear and used a simple straight stitch. I followed the same process for attaching the lace to the leg holes, except that I didn't tug on the lace when pinning, aka I didn't want any extra tension because the leg holes were already small enough to fit on my legs snugly. For the gusset, I pinned it in place before sewing the lace down so that I wouldn't have an extra stitch line. It wasn't difficult, just be cautious when you're going over it that the gusset isn't folding under as you sew. Also, I left the top and bottom of the gusset with a raw edge because I don't really care if it looks super neat and tidy. It's a pussy cover, what the hell do I care? 
I didn't want to finish the video without having at least one screw up. Well, top stitching, the leg hole lace did pop up and I sewed it on incorrectly, but I stitch ripped it and sewed it down properly. All right, kids, let's get sexy. My other foot's messed. <laughs> Ow, don't pull on that. That's what he said. I'm not sure I know how to be funny without being incredibly vulgar at the same time. Oh, you just thought you'd watch this video and for my reveal, I'd get all sexual for you, didn't you? Well, it's not what I do, fam. No, instead, I like being weird and awkward about it. Would you expect anything less from me? How did the end product fare for you though? Uh, I'm very nasally this video. When am I not nasally? Give this video a big thumbs up. At times you saw a lot of my butt, so come on, that deserves two thumbs up. Ah! <laughs> not worth screaming over. Tune in next week where I'm gonna be showing even more of my flesh. We're getting even more scandalous next week. Whoa! Oh. More scandalous. I hope you all have a great weekend. Mine is going to be spent sweating what little boob I have completely off. I'm doing the mademoiselle because I'm such a good person. Oh, you didn't understand that? That's fine. Oh, you so sassy, patriarchy. You a sassy little girl. I think that's it. I think I'm done. Oh, oh. Bye. <gasps> Bye. Oh, it's so much better. Mm.